Hey, what's happening YouTube? Chris here from New Venture Entrepreneurs. Thank you for checking out this video. So this is gonna be a continuation over the previous video that I put out going over how to use Merge Informer's Movers and Shakers module to find profitable niches. So using my criteria that I have, I was able to find a niche to further explore. And in this video, we're just gonna go over that. And also I'm gonna create a graphic for that niche using Merge Informer's designer tool. So just to quickly recap, I used the movers and shakers module just to find a niche to get into. And the movers and shakers module pretty much just shows you the shirts that has a pretty high or pretty noticeable BSR movement. In the past, you could choose uh, daily, weekly, or monthly, just a significant BSR movement jump. So I just scrolled down the list of shirts and I looked at pretty much the topic of each shirt. Uh, for example, here, this is unicorn emoji shirt for boys, girls, moms, and dads. Uh, so the topic of this is unicorn. And then I went to Amazon and looked at the competition and pretty much just analyzed the competition and made sure it fit my criteria. Relax, my mom is a nurse, so this topic is nurse. So I went to Amazon uh, to check that topic uh, for competition in amazon.com. So I ended up coming up on a shirt that said Tokyo. And I just thought about the foods that they eat um, remember, like I said before, you kind of have to think outside of the box, think about the topic and anything that kind of relates to the topic. So I thought about food and I thought about sushi for Tokyo. So I went to amazon.com and typed in funny sushi shirts and I was able to find a niche to get into that fit my criteria. So like I said before, number one, it has to be under 500 results. And also the first eight to 10 listings has to be under a million BSR average. So I typed in funny sushi shirts here and I see this shirt. We're not gonna pay attention to uh, sponsored ads. Um, we're gonna look at here. So you see the first one, check out my six pack. Let me move it quick. All right, check out my six pack um, funny sushi shirt. Here's another one, feed me sushi. So this is 732, 735. If we scroll on down, this shirt right here is, there's no ranking on it for some reason. Uh, this one, 912, 363. This is over a million, but I want the first eight to 10 listings to have an average under 1 million. So that's just one over. Um, scrolling on down, this one has over a million, but the next couple have, well, this one has under a million and this one has under a million. So there's just, just, there are just a few outliers that are over a million, but doing the calculations, I was able to do the average BSR and I, it came up to around 900,000, something like that. Um, so this is something I would like to get into. So going from here, I'm just gonna look real quick and kind of analyze what is selling. So I see 732, 735. This is like a, they're kind of merging niches into one. So it's like a workout shirt or like a funny workout sushi shirt. This one, feed me sushi and tell me I'm pretty. So this, well, pretty much what I'll do from here, honestly, is just, this is something I wanna get into. So funny and sushi shirts together is a good niche, apparently. Um, so what I would do from this point is go to Google and search funny sushi shirts to get a good idea of what everyone else is doing. All right, so I went to Google, typed in funny sushi shirts, as you can see here because I want to get a good idea of what the competition is doing and if I can get a, a, some type of inspiration from these shirts. So I'll just go to images to see some shirts. So this one says Japanese sushi design, sex drugs, sushi rolls. Let's see. That's how I roll. That's a little too much. <laughs> that, <laughs> this is how I roll. You had me at sushi. Yeah, I mean, sushi. So I see some, here goes that six pack shirt. Uh, let's see. So right now I'm just looking through all these listings and trying to see if, if there's any commonalities at all. Um, they all seem a little bit kind of different from each other, kind of sporadic in a way. Um, there's no really good theme. So I'm going back and forth. So this is <clears throat> the six pack shirt. This is just a funny shirt, sushi. 
See me rolling. So I saw that already. They see me rolling. So that's over a million. This is how I roll. It's over a million. I'm gonna fit in this sushi in my mouth. That's 700. 000. So that's another workout shirt right here. Um, let's see. So another thing I can do at this point is just instead of doing funny sushi shirts, I could just type in Google funny sushi saying. So funny. Oops. Type this in just so I can get an idea of what can be put on a shirt. And let's see. So what did the sushi say to the bee? Wasabi. Let's go to the next one. Uh, you are soy awesome. They see me rolling. They hate it. That's another one. Let's see. Rolling with my homies. That's a pretty funny one. Uh, for this video, let's go ahead and keep it simple. Um, I'm just going to say sushi love because people love sushi. So let's go to Amazon. Go ahead and check that out real quick. Amazon.com. And so sushi love uh, shirt orca. I want to see competition for these keywords right here. So there are less than 500 results, which is a good thing. And let's see. So there's 879, 436, over a million, over a million, over a million. Here's a 327, 760. Um, I'm going to go with this one. This is this is fine just for the purposes of this video. Um, so at this point, I know I want to use these keywords, sushi love shirt. So I'm just going to put something basic with sushi love on it. And from here, I'm going to go to, I was going to type in royalty free images. So from here, I'm just going to look for some images to use that I can put on the shirt. And one that I like to use is called Pixabay. So this is a website that just has a lot of royalty free images that you're allowed to use. And so I want to do sushi. So there's, there's a, quite a few um, images that you can use. These are pretty much lifestyle images. I don't want to use these. So I want to go to vector images or vector graphics. And one thing I'm looking for as well is what will make sense on the shirt. So what is something that people will want to wear? Um, so this looks cool, but let's see. Yeah, I don't know. This probably wouldn't look that good on a shirt. And plus, this is not a transparent background. This is a white background. So just going back real quick, check something else out. Sushi. Let's do this one. I think this one looks pretty so I'm going to go ahead and download this. This is for free. So from here, I'm just going to go ahead and download this image so we can put this on the shirt we're going to make. So download. All right. So at this point, I have the image downloaded and I'm going to put that on the shirt that I want to create using Merch Informer's design tool. So Merch Informer is pretty much an all in one resource for Merch by Amazon sellers. There's research uh, capabilities and tools. And there's also a designer that you can use to create your shirt as well. So if you scroll all the way to the top of Merch Informer, there's the Merch Informer Lister, and then there's also the Merch Designer. So I'm gonna click on that one. It's gonna open up the design tool. So Merch Informer has three different templates you could use. As you see, there's a, a t-shirt template, a hoodie and sweatshirt template and a pop socket. These are pretty much preloaded dimensions for each product. And we're gonna go for a t-shirt. I'm gonna click on that. It's gonna give you a blank canvas for a t-shirt right here. So since I downloaded the image, I'm just gonna go ahead and go to images and click on the image that I downloaded. All right, so I have the image here and I'm just gonna play around with it. So I do wanna add sushi love text to it. And the cool thing about Merch Informer is that they have a family of fonts to choose from. I'm gonna choose text. I'm gonna look through these, which would look best on here. Uh, I do wanna put this bridge on here for sushi. So 
So I'm just gonna move it up a little bit. And the way to change it is if is to go to this T where it says edit text. And I'm gonna put sushi. I'm gonna update that now. It says sushi. Um, I should probably go ahead and shrink the image down just a bit. I do want it big and nice and noticeable. So move it down. Move sushi down. All right. Uh, so sushi. And then the bottom, I want to put love. So let's see. Let's see how it looks with the curved text. But instead of doing it upwards, we can change it to outwards by moving the radius to the left or the right, actually. Or the left, actually, the left. So it'll look like that. Move this down. And let's see how this will look with the word love, L-O-V-E. All right, let's move that down a bit. Enlarge it. All right. So like I said, there are uh, quite a few fonts you could choose from. Um, let's go ahead and change this to, let's see what we like. So there's a varied amount. So let me see quick sand real quick. Uh, normally I like to use open sands because it's just, it's more welcoming. Uh, I think they have open sands condensed. Yeah, so I'll do that one. And then for this, Let's choose open sands. All right. So that's all on the image. Let's move it up a little bit, enlarge it. Yeah, this love is looking kind of weird Let's see there we go and we can also move the spacing all right this should this should be fine so that's gonna be it i'm pretty satisfied with it uh, from this point, I can go ahead and download this image, upload it to Merch by Amazon. And in the next video, I'm going to go over how to get a design made through Fiverr. And in the video after that, I'm going to show you guys how to create the brand name, the title and the description and pretty much look out for which keywords to choose when creating these. Um, so go ahead and like this video and I hope you stay stay tuned to the series. Um, if you like the video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one.